Hey guys, welcome to another Lunch Time Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Kellogg Special K flatbreads. Um, this one is a breakfast sandwich. Flatbread breakfast sandwich, I guess it's all one word. Um, sausage, egg, and cheese. This is pasteurized processed cheese product. Mmm, sounds yummy. Um, it's uh, protein uh, to fuel you. 14 grams of protein. There are four of these in the package. And... There it is. Um, it's 16.4 ounces. Um, that's for the all four of them, though. So these were at Kroger. They were $6.37. One sandwich is 116 grams, and it is 240 calories for one um, sandwich. And here's the rest of your stuff. If you eat all four of them, it's 950. So there's all them. So heating directions in the microwave. And it says recommended method. They don't even give you another method, so I don't know why they... I don't know. Um, anyway, remove frozen sandwich from plastic wrap. Ra uh, place sandwich on top of a folded paper towel on a microwave-safe plate. Microwave it high for one minute. It doesn't say wrap it in the paper towel. It says lay it on top of a folded paper towel. I was just making sure I read that inside the first time, but now it's just on top of. Uh, microwave it high for one minute and 20 seconds or until hot. Let sit for a minute in the microwave to heat evenly. Carefully remove uh, microwave as plate may be hot. Um, yeah, so it's um, savory sausage, fluffy eggs, and melty cheese. Mmm, flatbread made with whole grains. Let me see if I can open this fairly easily. Oh, that's, that's not too bad looking. Yeah, so I'm going to take this out of the pie. There's the, there's the egg, and there's the sausage, and then I'm assuming the cheese is in there somewhere. Underneath, maybe? Anyway, I'm going to take it out of the plastic, got me a paper towel, I'm going to fold over, put it right on top of that, on top of a paper plate. I'm not going to use a microwave safe, I'm just a paper plate, but anyway, I'll put it right on top of that, I'll be back. Alright, so here it is on the microwave, I picked it up, it had some, I guess the cheese that ran off, so I just picked it up and uh, that cheese stuck to the paper towel, so there's no way to get it all. Um, but it looks pretty good, I think the cheese is underneath this patty right here, you can kind of see it, I wonder if I can get it all, there you go. There's a cheese. Hey, it looks like uh, real cheese and it's not running off like water. So I'm going to let this cool off for just a minute and uh, I'll be back. I wonder if I need to... It's not too wet. It doesn't have a lot of moisture on the bottom and it's sitting on top of a paper towel so that should absorb it anyway. So anyway, sometimes they get soggy on the bottom if you don't flip them over. This one I think is going to be fine. Okay, so here we go. Just let it cool off for a minute. That was it. The top part is pretty soft. I mean, it's a little tough, but um, it's not too bad. The bottom part is um, is is really like really really tough. I mean, like like tough, tough and chewy, like leather. You know, that kind of tough and chewy. Flavor-wise, it's okay. Um, the flatbread itself is. It doesn't have much flavor. I mean, I just ate that piece by itself. And it's got a little flavor, but it's not much. The top one is definitely softer. Um, the sausage has a pretty decent sausage flavor. You get a little spice from it, which I like. I'm glad. The egg has a good flavor. The cheese has a really good texture and consistency. A little bit of the cheese flavor comes through, so you get a little bit of that. Um, the egg, I can taste the egg. If it wasn't for the flatbread itself being so bland, um, I would probably rate it higher. But it being bland and kind of tough on the bottom, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Um, the flavors are okay. The sausage flavor, like I said, has a, has that, a little bit of spice to it, but it doesn't taste really good and like sausage-y. <laughs> I don't know how better to explain it. And the eggs are good. Like I said, everything else is pretty decent about it. I probably would have given it a 4 if the bread itself, the flatbread itself, had been better. Um, that being said, I think a three out of five is pretty fair. I think it's good. Uh, I'll probably pull this bottom off and, and not even eat it because it is so, so tough. Uh, I just eat the top and the stuff. Um, you know, just pull this off and just eat it like this because I think it'll taste better or at least it'll have a better feel to it uh, because that, that bottom was, I mean, it's, it's tough. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.